Hello everyone and welcome back to part 7 of our Let's Play of Endless Space. In the last video, we invaded f these four star systems that belong to the Green Pilgrims and ended up accepting a ceasefire from them in exchange for Miker. And ceasefire means that we'll be in Cold War for each other for, uh, for 20 turns. Uh, at which point w then we'll be able to declare war on them again and take cancer the cancer system um, in the meantime what we're going to be doing is building up for an invasion of the purple pilgrims uh, in order to stop their expansion so we got a proposal by the orange pilgrims they want they want titanium 70 we're gonna refuse that these guys are pretty cocky they think they can just bully us uh, we're going to show them some stuff. So, let's see here. Uh, let's go ahead and end the turn. We have nothing left to do. Alright, looks like we got a random galactic event. Fanatic Rebels Suicide Bomb Navy. Hmm, that's not good. So it looks like all of our ships just got minus 25% for their current hit points. That's no good. It's no good at all. That sucks. All right, let's resolve our move. I believe we had uh, a bunch of ships heading over to Esther in order to build up their forces, and we're going to scope out. It looks like the main battle, once we get going, it, the main battle is going to happen here. Actually, it might be a better idea to go to Gaikon uh, and leave I think that's a scout no did our scout die I can't remember where is our scout oh this is our scout actually we want the scout over there and we want to build up all our forces here that way they can heal and we can also retrofit them as we um, fuse as we uh, research newer technologies uh, Gaikon finished it's uh, a temp uh, a temporal finance it's great let's go in here and see what else we can do their approval is still bad uh, so let's go for the colonial rights we're still reeling from that event earlier that decimated our approval rating you can see we're very very bad um, now these these four in the center here are invaded systems so they might get better as time goes on um, see we're currently 72 percent owner and I assume that'll that'll help. Uh, that'll go. The approval will increase once we are actually the owner. Let's start looking at. We haven't really added a lot of new. What should we call it? We haven't added a lot of new um, military stuff since we first built up our attack forces. But we are going to want. I believe we're going to want, well, we could go for a Dreadnought. Well, we could go for a Battleship, but that's minus 20% defense module tonnage. And the Dreadnought doesn't have any um, any effects, but it allows us to use that class. Now, that is very expensive. I'm not sure. I think we might be well-equipped enough right now with our cruisers. Um, we could go for a Battleship. Well, we'll see what happens. So we're going to end that turn. Alright, we're moving. Let's resolve our move. Again, these guys are using the free movement, and I think that does take longer. So I'm going to stick to just moving between planets. It might be worth it if you're going, say, from, let's say we're going from Ida to Circini. We might be able to uh, save some time doing that rather than going around here. And it also allows us to not have to go through systems in order to get to a specific planet. So it's pretty good for invasions as well. But I do think our invasion is going to start here because this is where all the main attack forces are. Um, so what we're probably going to want to do is to build fleets that will be able to take out as many of their sub well, we also want to make sure we don't get smacked by their um, their big forces. You can see there's two 7 out of 7 fleets in there with 
almost 1500 military power but like I was saying in the last video we don't know really how those fleets are comprised ie what uh, what kind of modules are using what kind of attack modules they're using so it's a little bit annoying uh, okay so Yersh finished its infinite supermarkets and now it's going for colonial rights let's actually take a look at Yersh okay they're pretty good with approval but that'll just increase it more which will offset some of the negative effects we're getting so I'll close that out and we will end the turn Resolve the movement. We've got some movement over here. They've got a zero military power ship doing something over there. Okay, we have a new hero. Let's take a look at him. He is a pilot and he's a commander. Excellent. This is going to be, and he's got great offense, great defense, great melee, absolutely no labor or wit, which means this guy is going to be a pure fleet commander. He's got plenty, plus 24% military power on fleet weapons he's got plus 24 percent min and max damage um, a little bit of defense on star systems but he's got great military power invasion he's got great defense against projectiles against missiles and against lasers and yeah this this guy's awesome so we're going to go ahead and we don't have enough room in our academy how many is he bro apparently i guess we can only have three now is there a Let's see if there is, where would this be under? This might be in military. Yes, that's probably it right there, nope. I'm looking for something that will increase the size of our academy. Oh, there's artifacts up there as well. Oh, okay, there's luxury yeah, resources up there. around here let me see if I can find it by keyword nope there's no keyword for hero let's take a look around again I'm guessing there is something but I'm just not gonna see it which is unfortunate that's one of the negatives about I mean there's a great positive to not you know going through the entire tree but then there's a, there's some negatives and we're running into that here. It's I w wish I knew if there was something. Okay, there's the academy cap right there. There's plus three alien improvement, alien leadership, plus three academy cap. There's got to be one that's less, right? I would assume. There's one. Plus two. Is there a plus one somewhere? It has that icon, that little alien in a group icon. saw earlier let's see I think this is the best one over here so we might want to investigate going over there however that would also mean putting off military research so what we might want to do is look at oh, and these guys are all oh, this is unfortunate well we'll deal with that later Okay, so Takim is doing some exploitation next, and Ibani needs something to do. And this is the other unhappy place. So while the product, uh, while their industry isn't very good, I'm just gonna throw these on there just to give it something to do. Once it becomes owned by us, we'll see if the uh, production or the industry uh, goes up. All right, it's all set. Let's end the turn. rebuilding which is unfortunate uh oh something happened invasion started uh oh but I thought he couldn't do that oh we're in cold war oh you son of a bitch all right five four two against nine seven eight so 1291 where's our big fleet did it reach over here already Eight two five against what is this nine seven eight? Shit. Twelve ninety one. Seven ninety three. Where are our, where's our big eighteen guy? Okay, he 
this year. No. What? Eighteen fifty seven. Seven shit. It's the main attack, so where is that? Oops. I'm sorry, I've where the hell? There's Theta. Where the hell is the main attack one? Main attack is going to Ibony. It's seven ships in the fleet. So that's okay, he's probably on top of this. Go, so he's going here. 542. This is going to take a while, so I think we can be okay without them completely recapturing it. That's annoying. So we really have to deal with them, huh? Okay, we'll deal with it. We shall deal. Alright. What do I want here? Some more dust would be good. And this is an explored moon. Yes, it is. It's empty, but it is explored, so we will get uh, plus two dust there. It's pretty good. But we do want... Let's see, actually, let's increase our trade first. That'll give us a nice boost in dust and science. Gaikon needs something. Let's see. Explored moon, we don't have any moons. This is good for population, interesting science. Let's go for, oh, I don't know. No moons, so it doesn't really help there. Well, we could increase the population a bit. Let's do that. Or, actually, we could start building. No, I don't want to start building until... Oh, then again, we could retrofit. Uh, <laughs> I do really like my fast attack of ships. So I think I'll build a whole new fleet of those. And one Dreadnought, too. Actually, and I'll go with the repair ship as well. So, a Dreadnought 2 for 2 command points, and then 5 other ships for fast attack and 1 repair ship. And we'll retrofit those later if we need to, but that should take a couple turns. It'll take 11 turns to churn all those out, which is great. I'll keep them occupied. Now, Trime. This has terrible industry, so we're not going to be building ships here. In fact, what we were going to do is go for the science first, and then... We'll go for some more dust because we have two moons there. And then we'll go for... Well, we'll, we'll see where that takes us. And I believe that's all. Let's take a look at our queue. Yes, we finished off all that. Let's resolve our movement. That's probably a good idea. Uh, oh, crud. So I guess they were defending. And since we entered, um, we're going to have to retreat from this battle. We are dreadnoughts, and we do have good. That's actually. Mm -hmm. Let's go for ding, ding, ding. tactics, uh, tactics, and an offensive retreat. This might bite me in the ass, but we'll see what happens. I have some pretty good kinetic defense here, and missiles are great. They do. They use sabotage, which is no good. Decreases are. Yeah, they're starting to hit us pretty hard too. I think I'm gonna change this to offensive retreat. Yeah, we're gonna get out of here while we can. We'll probably take out a couple of their ships. Yeah, we took out two of their ships. That's good. We haven't lost anybody yet. Yeah, so we took out two, and we're gonna retreat. Hopefully, we don't fail that retreat. I've seen that happen a lot. We shall see. Okay, we didn't fail the retreat. We're gonna retreat over here to uh, Ida. And this is our big fleet, so we should be able to handle them once this guy arrives. All right, next turn, nothing to do. And now we've lost Ibany. 
That was really quick. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Oh, these guys, man. These fucking guys. Alright. Let's resolve our movement. We do have a repair ship, so that'll help over there. And we finished our interspecies uh, HR. So we have that new star system improvement there, which will uh, increase our approval, and it'll subtract our overpopulation disapproval, which is good as well. So this is an all-around great improvement. Now, what we want to do next is start... Let's, um, let's go for some of these one-turn military things, military researches. Let's go about... He was able to build up um, a force very quickly. And this is small, this is small, very large here. He's got a bunch of scouts just kind of... I mean, this, this is more than a little scout. And he's got a, a commander on there, hero. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's end the turn. And this will be our 100th turn. Excellent. Things, things have definitely sped up. And... They've also sped up because uh, I don't have to explain as much, which is great. Let's resolve our movement. And yes, these two. So we're going to let's wait one turn and then we'll head over here. These guys are repairing. And we finished our depleted isotopes, which is great. So let's go for HE batteries. What is that? We have a uh, shield reflective isotopes, which is for laser damage. And then, ah, uh, that's a great invasion military power. That's really good. Uh, actually, let's go for this high albedo alloys, which will give us uh, the next tier of kinetic defense. Let's go for that first. Let's take a look at our, yeah, Miker and Takim are very unhappy. However, uh, what was the... Ida is doing pretty good. And is that because... Well, we don't own it yet, but we're getting very, very close. Uh, can we colonize yet? No, we're still missing requirements for some reason. I think that might be a, uh, a bug. Because we, ha we can colonize gas planet. But it's saying missing requirements. That could be a bug. But we'll see. Okay, so... That's all set. And we had a couple... Completed. Yersh and Takim. Let's go to Takim. And these, we don't have, we need personal shielding in order to get these, uh, these luxury resources. But what we want to do, I think, and we are still an outpost, we're not a colony yet. Let's see here. Okay, approval, tooltip, let's take a look at that. <laughs> it's very small, so it's very hard to see. Okay. Uh, minus 23.4 from expansion disapproval, which would be nice for this, but it's just 27 turns. 14 turns. 14, 10. Let's go for some uh, increased industry. That might help a little bit. Yersh is doing well. It's very happy. Uh, let's see. Let's go for. Let's go for an immediate. Uh, actually, we do. Yeah, let's go for research. We are working on research, so let's knock those out first. And I think that's it. Yeah, that was it. I, I think I dismissed that message. I like to check the message and see that everything is queued up. And that, but I do think that everything was queued up, so that's great. All right, we're getting a message. Again, the orange pilgrims are trying to demand something from us. Uh, Alright, so we got some completed things here, and those are all queued up for the next round, so that's great. And we do have some hangar. Let's create fleets from these guys just so we don't forget about them. In fact, let's see. We should be good. We should be good. Okay, now what we want to do is send these guys over here. Hmm. So we can't in 
invade because we are in Cold War? I believe. Perchance. Hmm. Well, we'll deal. We'll see what happens. I mean, this is going to become one of ours very soon, so hopefully that'll that'll fix some of what I'm seeing. Let's actually merge these guys. And all right, I think we're ready for the next turn. We'll get a research done next turn, which is great. to research let me just scope out wow they are yeah okay <laughs> all right we seriously need to to start um yeah we st yeah let's go for fusion batteries we need to start building up our military a lot a lot a lot because you can see they the Purple Pilgrims are building up a very, very large military. Mostly, probably because they are expecting us to attack them. Uh, let's look at the scores. Yeah, they're they're almost a hundred uh, past us. They've managed to increase their military very, very quickly. Yeah, plus thirty-nine. Our empire is also gaining ground. That's pretty good. Let's go back to Ida. Have is it our colony? Yes, it is. Excellent. And I wonder if that global event will last forever. And can we colonize? No. There must be something wrong. There must be something wrong. It must be a bug or something. Alright, so we took care of that. And let's... What I want to do is I'll leave these guys there. And I'll take these two and send them over here. Uh, looks like we're going to have to, yeah, because we're in enemy territory, we're going to have to use our, our movement. It's unfortunate. Mm, let me do some diplomacy. Send our green guys over here. Okay, so we have nine turns left, it looks like. Ongoing, I would assume that means the number of turns left. We'll see, because I, I really should, uh, maybe what I want to do is, I might want to reconsider attacking our purple friends, because they are really powerful, at least, and so what I might want to do is go for our orange friends over there, uh, use double air quotes for friends, but. I'm not sure the purple are building up very fast, very, very fast. And I don't have any way to see what they have. Pilgrims are suspicious, they should be. Let's finish the movement. Check that, that looks good. And I think we have, yes, we have a fast attack in our hangar. So we'll go ahead and merge them together. And Gaikan, Yersh is good, Wei and Ida, so let's go to Wei. We have another trade route established, which is awesome. And we're going to go for more research. Oops, the fusion batteries are all set. That'll be great for missiles. And let's look at this, Unifirm Shielding. Plus 25% initial ship HP on start system and reflective armor or we could go for this is more toward lasers synchronize it sync synchron tron laser synchrotron laser and I don't know if the enemy has missiles yet so I would go for black defense get up here though because that'll give us plus two academy cap which would be really great oh and I must have I think I actually did the first one at some point maybe not but I did get a minus 
to uh, the number of turns before new hero arrives arrives so i might i was thinking that maybe there was a plus one to academy cap on there but but it is still at plus three so i'm gonna go this route it'll take six plus eleven turns so what is that 17 turns and so that's all set and ida needs something to do ida is ecstatic that's excellent but we are losing a lot of dust mostly from improvements so what we need to do is start focusing on dust improvements we'll go with xeno tourism and this is plus explored moon we haven't explored a lot of moons so we'll go ahead and explore moon as well and this one is colonizable but again we're having that bug and then after that we will increase the trade route and that's about it and that's good for now so that looks good dismiss those messages and we will end the turn In fact, these guys are just, they're really annoying me and they're really uh, worrying me. What we what we might want to end up doing is, you know, what we could end up doing is just being at peace with them. Um, we could try to take over Orange and try to convince Purple that we're not going to take them over. Have some rounds of peace, maybe go for some economic victory stuff. In fact, let's look at our victory condition. Yes, uh, expansion is at 71% and supremacy is at 25%. Um, I don't know exactly the uh, terms of all that, all those, uh, all, or all the victory conditions or all the victory things you can do. Um, but it looks like expansion might be the way to go. Uh, so we could conquer Orange and we could also colonize over here as well in order to get that victory. Because purple is just worrying me right now. That's a lot to deal with. But let's take our scout. Start looking at purple. Or uh, orange again. Just to make sure yeah, he does have a fleet. But I mean they're not all merged. They're not as bad as purple. Um, so we'll, let's resolve our movement. And let's take a look at. Okay. Trim is good. Gaikon looks good again. Yersh needs another improvement. Yersh is very doing very good. Approval is great. Um, it could be better. But let's actually... It has no trade routes. So let's get two trade routes set up there. And we'll also go Xeno Tourism. That'll only take five turns. So that's great. And so that's all set. We have this fleet over here. Just kind of chilling. Making sure green guys and we'll ha we're gonna have to deal with these guys pretty soon as well again actually it might be a good idea to I'm going 11 okay so um, in nine more turns I think that'll probably yeah because this has been going on for 11 turns and the ceasefire will last uh, for 20 turns okay at the end of the 20 turns a peace treaty will be proposed and we can probably accept it so we can build up again and then we're going in and finally destroy them. That might be the way to go. We'll finish off our green and then we'll go for orange. Alright, end the turn. Alright, let's resolve our movement. And slowly but surely we're making our way over here. Let's send our scout. Well, let's do a little scouting. Again, there's some military power here, but it's it's mostly contained. And I think once we start upgrading all our ships and start building again, it'll be much, much better. So let's go over here. Just want to make sure. We're the only one there. We have two movement points left. Let's go to Taurus. And Ida completed Sino Tourism, and now it's going to survey its moon, which is great. And we'll end the turn. Resolve our movement. We're in Taurus. We don't see any orange guys over there, so we'll send them over there. Gaikon and Yersh completed some stuff, and they have things to do next. Gaikon has some ships as hangers, so I'm going to create 
The new fleet merged them together, so we have a nice create merge these. That looks good for now. We're gonna we're gonna be modifying all this um, eventually. And actually, I don't know why he's there. So let's send him over there. And we will actually oh, looks like he might not have arrived yet. Yeah, he hasn't arrived yet. When he does, we'll be able to merge that one into him. And, alright, let's go next turn. Alright, the moon was empty. Let's see. Gaikon finally finished all of its uh, military production. So what I want to do now is, let's see. Explored moon, explored moon. And let's see. Let's go for this one and this one. Sounds good to me. Oh, it, that was a repair ship. That's good. Let's create the fleet out of that. And whoops. Merge this one, this one, merge. Oops. This one, let's control click that one. Do we have a parachute and a fast attack? Do we have two dreadnoughts? Fast attack. Repair ship. We I really would like each fleet to have one repair ship. Just to have. Let's resolve some movement here. Not there yet. That's all set. And next turn we're gonna be completing our research. Just to have. I don't know if it's really a huge deal, but and our fleet size can only be so big right now. So you know, wasting two spots with two repair ships, it would be, uh, wouldn't be worth it. Okay, our Sylphi guy leveled up. So let's see what we can give him. Let's see. Let's go with, let's go with kind of a balanced approach. Sounds good to me. So we completed alien barter theory. So we get a star system improvement of space elevator, which gives us plus 25% trade drop bonuses. And we also get abundant luxuries. So it's minus 20% buyout bonus on star system. So that's good. That might be good for getting a military up really qu very quickly. And now we're gonna do futuristic game theory so we can get our academy cap increased so we can recruit that, uh, that great hero to put on one of our attacking fleets, whenever that'll be. All right, so finally, our fleet reached Braya. Braya? Yeah, sure, Braya. And Yersh completed one of its trade things, so it's all set. And let's end the turn. He appears to be just scouting, but I thought this dotted line meant he was trying to invade. Oh, he could be blockading. He is blockading. What an asshole. But we're at a ceasefire, so I can't... This is like... <laughs> this is like Star Wars Episode One, Except not terrible. Alright, uh, we'll deal with that later. What do these guys want? Okay, this... Alright, uh, how much do we have of that? Let me check here. Antimatter, we have one antimatter, and they want it, or are they giving it to us? They want Hyperium, and they're gonna give us, let's do that. That'll make them like us a little bit more. Actually, let me check to make sure that was the case. So we should be getting, yes, two antimatter, and we're getting one less Hyperion, but we have a ton of Hyperion to begin with, and that should increase diplomatic relations. Um, and we actually, I do like these guys. They did attack us at first, but, okay, so let's look at cooperation agreement. After initial cost, both empires will benefit from a substantial increase in revenue from trade routes.
Let's go with that. Sure. Offer. I'm sure they're going to accept because it's favored in their favor. Yes. All right. And uh, they're, they probably like us. Well, they like us, smiley face, but they're still even. Even trend. Let's uh, complete our movement. Okay. Now, do we have a repair ship? We do have a repair ship. Now we're in friendly territory, though, so we'll start repairing. Let's merge some of these things together just to, for cleanup purposes. Alright. Oh, Sofa, I forgot about this. Damn. I knew that was going to bite me. Sofa was doing infinite for research and I completely forgot to go back. Damn. That's alright. Um, let's do some colonizing and some moon surveys. Yeah, see, that's why I didn't want to do that infinite thing in the first place because I knew that was going to happen. Okay, you actually need something. I think we already have that moon. No, we do. Let's do that. And Way needs something. Um, an empty moon there. Let's see. They're very happy. Or not very happy, but they're happy. And we could do plus 25% trade route bonuses, which will increase those bonuses, which increases science as well. So let's go for that. And that looks like everything. Let's check. Yep, it looks good. Let's end the turn. Alright. Did we find any good moons? No, empty and empty. Let's take a look. Because these orange guys are still threatening us. We shall not succumb to such petty th petty uh, threats. And the green pilgrims are just chilling over here. I don't really know what the hell they're doing. We're losing a lot of money here. Oh, we are being blockaded. Oh, that's really goddamn annoying. <laughs> In fact, uh, well, we are pretty much where we... Yeah, okay. Let's go into our military screen and start upgrading. Seven in each, so let's do that. So, seven missiles one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, these are much heavier. But they stop more, which is great. Let's go ahead and apply that. The dreadnought. Three depleted armor, uh, high energy coupling. Did we increase that? No, that's okay. Ultra vent slugs, unstable tor torpedoes. So let's, and this can carry a lot of tonnage, but it's going to be a very uh, expensive ship, but that is okay. We want an expensive ship. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove these five and these five, and we'll go ahead and one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then we'll d remove this depleted armor. And we will add three. That looks good to me. 366. Go ahead and apply that. And also, our fast attack ship needs to be upgraded. Our scout. Do we have a better engine yet? I don't think we do. I don't think we have a better engine or... Yeah, we haven't upgraded our long-range sensors either. Okay, so missile attack needs to be updated. No. Fast attack, yes. Okay. Fast attack 2, I believe. So now it's going to be fast attack 3, or maybe it's the other way around. I'm not sure. Oh, we do have some lasers here. We didn't increase those, though. That's alright. Let's get two of the new ones. One, two, one, two, and two of those. Start retrofitting our ships. The easiest way to do that is through here. And that's a scout. It 
looks like we can retrofit everything for 434. Sweet, that wasn't that expensive. And 34, and 524, 398, and 443. Excellent. So let's take a look at our military power now. Excellent. So we, our biggest force, our main attack force, has 22,763 mil, uh, military power. This guy over here, actually we didn't... Can we not uh, upgrade him? We are in friendly territory, aren't we? It might not be connected though. Let's check. Uh, what was that fleet called? Gamma. Let's check Gamma. I did, I do believe we... Well, we do have Treadmill 3. Yeah, I think... And do we? Oh, we might need to upgrade our repair ship as well. Did we have an upgrade that uh, we did? I think we're already using it though. Intelligent tools. Yes. Okay. So let's upgrade our plating. One, two, three, four. All right. That's better. That's great. And we're gonna need to upgrade these guys over here eventually. All right. Now let's check out these. And we need an exploitation on our, there's this desert, so what's good for desert? What's good, what's good? I got dust, of course. <laughs> of course, all right. And did we do, yes, we did a moon survey. That's okay, that's okay. Dream needs something. We did our moon survey, I think. Yes, we did. Let's see what we need. Uh, Let's do the bonuses for trade routes for now. And where else? Yersh. Yersh did the the moon survey, but it didn't find anything, just like every other thing. Uh, let's build a satellite. Where is Yersh anyway? Yes, Yersh is a colony, so that will affect uh, the sphere of influence. So let's dismiss that and end the turn. happening important no attacks going on nope we're good all right so we got a uh, fleet commander upgraded or leveled up so and this is the yes the adventurer pilot so he's very very good and three offense minus 40 cooling plus four defense let's go with offense a very offensive force and we have a bunch of things that got done. So we need to look at the moons, I believe, now. It would be a good time to do that. Oh, no, I clicked on the... I want to click on this one. And, okay, that is an empty moon. But we're going to look at the moon for this guy. And that will only take one, one turn. And then... How's the... Oh, we have a lot of... Okay, what's the military power over here? The main attack, uh, the main attack fleet has the most, and those are all okay. So we have two missile attack ships and five fast attack ships. So what I want to do is, your shower here industry, not bad. How fast does it take you to build? Wow, very fast. Okay, so we're gonna do a repair ship there. And we're also gonna do two fast attack ships and on Gaikon we're going to do three missile attack ships so that'll give us three plus uh, three so we'll need one more somewhere let's go with a fast attack ship so this is going to take a couple turns but that'll give us a nice fleet a very very powerful fleet as well so that's done Ida needs something to do Again, there's that bug. I just want to check on it. And we did survey this moon. Yes, we did. Once you get all this stuff going, it's very hard to keep track of everything, but that's the fun. Now, we are being blockaded. Hence, why we don't have a lot of food and dust. So that is unfortunate. Let's just go with the satellite for now. And that should be the end of that. Let's end the turn.
found an empty moon again. Yes, we haven't found a moon with a temple on it yet. And we still can't attack these guys. Okay, when can we attack these guys? Okay, one more turn. Excellent. We'll be poised to attack. We shall. Or we'll at least go into peace, and then we'll see what happens. Still fire with the moon thing. We could get more trade routes here, or we could start building. Yeah, we have a lot of pr uh, industry here as well. Let's go with two defenders, which will put it at four. Repair ship at five. And two fast attack ships. This is all going to happen in one turn because it's interesting. Why would it happen in one turn? Because we're only making 235 industry per turn, but these all added up. Interesting. Let's see what happens. So yours finished uh, repair ship. Takim finished that production. And this is that other, this is our colony, but we are, our approval is way down. And planets, let's see, Molten Springs. Interesting. Did we do moon surveys yet? No. We might as well get those out of the way. Just give something, some, somebody something to do. Uh, no, let me take a look at. Let's take a look here. Just want to make sure I'm not leaving any anything in a hangar somewhere. Oh, okay, there is something in the hangar. Create. And let's take a look at this hangar. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna scroll through all my systems here. Okay, nothing in the hammer. Hangar. Uh let's end the turn. Oh my scout is chilling out in the orange area. Maybe I should uh keep him exploring. Alright. Pilgrims have been informed of your overwhelming ascension, so they're hostile. And let's resource quantity, hexaferrum, offer peace. Okay, we're going to accept that. Excellent. So now we should be able to let's see what we can do here. Can we go over here? Yes, we can. Excellent. But I don't want to keep leave these completely uh, undefended. But I mean, he doesn't. I mean, he has a force, but it's not too bad. We should be able to take him out fairly quickly. Okay, so we got a fleet commander up, up, uh, or, uh, level up. So let's take a look here. This is defense. This is defense. Defense is good. Let's get some defense going. And lots of stuff just happened. So if I just cranked out an entire fleet in one turn, how's our attacks? Excellent. Create that fleet. It's all set to go with a military power of only 1360, huh? Interesting. Those dreadnoughts must not have as much military power as I thought. That's alright though. It's still a fleet. We'll still use it. So let's send them over there. Let's still fire. Let's actually do uh, one repair ship and then let's see. These are these military. Let me take a look at the. Uh, Missile attack ship. That's a total of 318. Fast attack ships have a total of 202. Dreadnoughts have a total of 366. But you can only get 366. Yeah, the, the way to go here, I think, is to make a repair ship. And then the missile attack ships? Yes. Yeah, these things are massively missile based. But they're great. So we're going to do 1 and 6. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. Those are very pretty expensive, or at least it seems that way. I'm not sure why it only took two, one turn for that whole fleet. It's a little weird. Uh, let's look around. I didn't need something to do. We're still missing requirements for some reason. Yeah, like I said, that's all right. And we're not barricaded anymore, mm, but we do need a lot more dust. Moon. I think we have one explored moon. 
Let's go with the space elevator. Uh, no, that's not what I wanted. Yes, uh, that'll increase our bonuses here for trade. And looks good. This is still growing, huh? Well, eight turns. It's gonna take a while. What is this guy? It's a repair ship. Let's send him over here. And where was our scout? Yeah, our scout was over here. I'm gonna go up here. Look at that. Yeah. Uh, while I was dealing with green, everybody just started to make a huge military. Green pilgrims are now suspicious. Let's complete our movement. Yeah, we're gonna move him over here. We're gonna retrofit. And actually, what we should do is... Yeah, we can't do that, can we? Let's try to set up a open borders. <laughs> They're suspicious, of course. <laughs> Of course, that makes them not want open borders at all, so we'll have to declare war on them. Um, we'll do that. He's going to reach here, I believe. No, we're actually going straight there. So what we're going to do is we're going to declare war again. We're going to go in and finish this guy off. Sorry, bud. And... We're gonna go in with our main attack force. Go here. That used up most, it should have used up all of our movement points. Yes, it did. We're going to invade, and actually we're not gonna invade, but we're going to uh, intercept or guard. So we'll see what happens there. And let's also send through a bunch of our other attack forces. Excellent. And I want them all to guard. Every one of them. Actually, if I select all and unclick and click, that should set them all. Okay, excellent. And also, we have somebody in our hangar here at GuyCon, so we're going to create that. Uh, we have something here. Create that. Send this guy up here. Send this guy. This guy's moving. That's great. And we have a repair ship built here. And we're building that fleet down there. Let's take a look around. I think we're good. Let's take another look. Yep, we're good. Let's go. Mm, I have a feeling a bunch of stuff is about to happen. Yep, they're going to be invading us over here with their scouts. Well, they're blockading us right now. And then they'll probably start invading. What I want to do is take my main attack force and attack here. This, our main attack force can handle any threat. Yes, we are pretty good here. These are all kinetic. Yeah, let's go auto with this one. We, should, we shouldn't lose anybody. And we should take out all their ships. Yep. In fact, they did no damage to us whatsoever, which is awesome. And... Uh, we also want to do the same here. We're going to go auto. Should be the same results. Yes, we didn't lose any health. So we took out all the ships. And any more? Any more? No? Alright. Well, I'm going to be attacking you. I'm going to do auto again. Yeah. yeah, the AI just seems... Or at least this version of the AI... I mean, it looks like we might have lost a little bit of health. That's alright can't attack anymore and all that's left is this fleet but we do have a second best fleet we'll send them in to take care of these guys should be able to theta i believe yes theta will attack and we're gonna do auto again should be a no-brainer yep they didn't do any damage to us and we completely decimated them all right, so that takes care of that. <laughs> All right, so let's use let's see, epsilon theta. Let's get them both going here. I don't know if it if they 
both really affect it. I'm not absolutely sure. But I know we're going to want to send these guys over here. They won't reach it completely, but so we're going to be uh, invading over here and here. That's what we're doing right now. And Yersh finished a fast attack ship. Send that up here. And this is, oh yeah, let's resolve some movement here. We also have our scout checking things out. I'm going to go up to Tsing. And let's see, it's developing leaders. Oh, excellent. We got, we can hire this guy now. No, we can't. We don't have enough people in the academy. I thought we could finish that. Oh, no, we don't. I guess that was just some weird event. Ah, we found a temple on our moon. Excellent. Plus 20% influence area on star system. Now, Takim was over here. So that's cool. So we found a temple. Uh, on one of these guys. Improvements. One of these guys. Yep, temple of the pervasive mind. Persuasive mind, rather. 20% influence area on star system. That's great. And we're surveying the next moon. And we got three, wow, we, uh, we got three levels up on our fleet commander here. He's now level 12. So let's go for battle action, gravity well. Minus 15% damage on enemy's weapons. Plus 15% damage on player's weapons. Yeah, let's look at that. And let's also look at Tinkerer's great as well. And the faster reboot looks cool. Let's do that. That looks good. And this was the guy. Yep. He, so he leveled up twice in one battle and once in another battle. And uh, yes, this is just the pilgrims being hating us. And let's go to Yersh and start doing something here. And let me look at my military our score here. Yeah, the purple ones are again just moving farther and farther ahead. I think, let's see, we have 109. That's not really enough to start building. What we want to do is, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's go for the space elevator. That'll increase our trade bonuses. So everything else is good there. We're invading and uh, guarding here, invading, guarding here. This guy's heading over here to get retrofitted. Let's actually merge. Oh, we have a Delta Force here. <laughs> uh, 1360, that's right. They were uh, on their way over here. But I don't think we're going to have any trouble. But we might as well send them over here because it might help. And there's zero atoms here. So actually, we also want to start merging this fleet together. So we have four out of seven there. We'll keep them there. Ship. Let's see. We have two ships in our hangar, so we're going to create that. We're going to merge these together and send them up here. And alright, that looks good. Let's end the turn. Let me check. I think our video will be coming. Yes, we have about two minutes left. So let's see. Let's see what we can do. So they are blockading. So, um,. The green pilgrims seem to be blockading quite a bit. Exapharum and antimatter, yes I know. Sophie and Gaikon, that's good. Sophie, let's go to our hangar and create. Let's send him on his way. And hangar and make two new ones, that's great. We'll start merging those in the next turn. And let's resolve our movement. We should get attacked, perhaps. Nope, we don't. And this guy is gonna get creamed. And this guy's gonna get creamed. So we might as well do that, do that, do auto. He'll get smashed into little bits and pieces quite easily. And we will start. Oh, this is our system, that's why. Um, and this guy is going to end up here, so I'll wait here. And then, that's right, we only have these two to deal with. And actually, this is ours now. So 
we could actually send him in here. And yes, now we are finally taking over. Excellent. 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 Very good. Alright. Uh, we do have a level up of our hero. Let's, I think, temporary gain will be... Oh, no, this is just rapid ad adaptation. What's this one? Fast reboot. Uh, battle action. Minus one healing. Plus one defense. Ground pounder. Let's go with a little bit of balance. Just to do that. Alright, so let me check our time. I think we're good for now. Yes, okay. So I'm going to end the video here. Uh, in the next video, we're going to... I think we're finally going to wipe out the green pilgrims. We're finally going to do it. And then we will have to contend with the rest of the galaxy. And they're going to be looking at us with uh, the face of disapproval as we wipe out the green pilgrims. And what we might end up doing is just kind of going for a more uh, expansionist, less militaristic route. Um, because these guys are fairly... The war would be absolutely devastating. Uh, but we shall see. Uh, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.